you have any idea how valuable I could be to you at Jack's Cosmetics? Well, you're quite right. I'm sure we can find a place of management for you somewhere. Uh, oh, no. You see, I wouldn't be content to be anywhere but at the top. I am a leader. Listen, Jax, if I were you, and I know you're a very wise man, you should snap me up and hire me to run Jax Cosmetics for you. What? So is that smile a yes? That smile is a smile. Go on. Well, what else is there to say? Look, I think it is a perfect combination of resources. Your Jack's Cosmetics and the brain behind deception. Well, I agree, it's a brilliant plan for you. What do I get out of it? Hey, see you tonight. Bye. Yeah. Brenda. Oh, Ned. Have you seen Lois? She's inside. We should definitely. GQ. Uh, you don't like it. I can tell. I never said that. You seem a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Only when I move. Uh, all right, you made an effort, at least. So if you want to go back to your old uniform, no, no, I won't be insulted. No, I will try. I can try a little longer. I mean, I uh, learn how to wear pantyhose. I can certainly learn how to wear a tie. Ah, I'm back. Hey, did you miss me? Hey. Of course, every day. <laughs> hey, so how was L.A.? Oh, my God, it was so cool. In fact, it could not have been any more perfect. There was no earthquakes, no mudslides, just three days of beautiful sunshine and being spoiled. In fact, my tour guide here took indulgence to new heights. I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece. Uh, you're still recuperating, aren't you? Oh, yeah, but I took very good care of myself. Good night. I can vouch for her. <clears throat> I love this new look, Max. What happened to you? I'm experimenting. I want to know if there's any truth to the rumor that clothes make the man. Or if integrity comes from within. Well, it's nice to see you again, too, Mac. I... I'm so sorry. I just realized you two haven't even met. Jax, this is one of my very best friends in the whole world, Robin Scorpio. Hi. Hi, Robin. It's a pleasure meeting you. Brenda's told me wonderful things about you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. I've been looking forward to meeting you. And guess what? This is... It probably won't be such a pleasure meeting me. I'm Catherine Bell, the woman who took deception out from underneath you. Oh, you're... So you're the one who ousted Lucy Co, huh? I am indeed. I am going to be the biggest rival that Jack's Cosmetics has ever known. Maybe deception will become so powerful, I'll buy you out too. Be my guest. I thrive on competition. And he doesn't care who he plows over in the process. Isn't that right? So, uh... You now I can tell you're an incredibly crafty businesswoman. Really? How? A certain glint in the eye. Something nice and cold and steely. Thank you. I'll remember to keep my guard up when you're around. I'll do the same. Would you guys like me to show you to your table? That's such a good idea. I was just about to suggest that. <laughs> Bye. It's right over here. What was that all about? I don't know what you mean. That little remark about Jack's plowing people down. What do you know about him? It's right there for public consumption. Jack's reputation is legendary. It spans the globe. So that comment was hearsay. It's more than that. So you do know him? Unfortunately. What happened between the two of you? It's a long story. I'd love to hear it. Later. I got time now. Catherine, I'm not going to get into it with him sitting right over there. He's busy. He won't hear you. Not now. <sighs> but in the meantime, let me give you a little warning, all right? Don't be taken in by his uh, phony smile and affected charm. The man has no scruples. Ahem. 
She's not as interesting as you might think. Huh? No, she's very obvious. She's just blind ambition. That woman will go after anything she wants, and she'll do anything she can to get it. So if I were you, I wouldn't be fooled by her sweet little smile. She's probably just as competitive as you are. Well, if things work out the way I hope, Catherine will find herself pitted against Lucy Coe, not me. Do you really think that Lucy Coe would trade her ELQ stock for Jack's Cosmetics? I have a hunch. Well, I wouldn't let Ned know about that hunch if I were you. Of course not. Better put an end to the deal before it even got underway. So you're just willing to sit here and talk to me about this, knowing that I'm really good friends with him? Well, you're my friend too. I trust you. That's so hard to believe. No. I guess I'm just not used to it. You know, I find it curious. You're in a relationship with a man who didn't trust you and refused to confide in you. Yet you're incredibly eager to win him back. Well, Sonny and I are just meant to be together. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, you know? Sometimes love just doesn't make sense. Hey, <clears throat> so why don't you tell me about this hunch? Because I don't know if you're aware of this, but Lucy Co. guards that ELQ stock with her life. Well, from what I'm learning, making Edward as miserable as she possibly can and getting revenge on Catherine at the same time are of equal importance. Wow, you've really done your homework. What, did some CIA agent put out a dossier on Lizzie's personality? Well, you can't win the game unless you have an intimate knowledge of the other players. Okay, so if you're so sure that you know what's in this for Lucy, then what's in it for you? What else? 10%. Are you serious? That's what you've been after this whole time? Well, I wouldn't oh. mind owning a piece of ELQ, Dude. wouldn't you? Ned was right this whole time. You were the ones who told him he was being paranoid. You are so... Does this mean you're going to be staying in Port Charles? Right now, my only plan is to make no plans. Hey, what can I get you? Um, I don't know. Uh, one of those, uh... Beautiful suits would be nice. <laughs> One of these? Yeah. You know what, Sonny? You can have this. <laughs> I am through being a fashion victim. Ah, uh, yes. Now, let's see about getting a table. How about this one right here? Uh, Beautiful. What a Billy? What a Thank you. Go. you. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> I know. We had so much fun. You should see this beach house in Malibu. Actually, it's more like a mansion. It's so cool. It's up on this hill, and it's right above the sand, and every single window looks out over the ocean. Oh, wow. It's, <laughs> we woke up every morning to the sound of the ocean and the birds, and it was amazing. We ran down to the beach before anyone else was out there, and we'd go swimming. Wait a minute, you went swimming so soon after the accident? All right, so I didn't go swimming. <laughs> I just checked out the beautiful scenery. Yeah, it's an all followed by a nutritious breakfast that Brenda just couldn't wait to dive into. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it sounds incredible. No, you want to know what was really incredible? The shopping was insane. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we shopped everywhere between Melrose and Montana, including Rodeo Drive, when you say. Then some. And we had so many bags, they barely fit in the Bentley, you know. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, have to excuse me. I should get back to work now. All right. Bye. Bye. It's getting hot here. You think so? Don't you? Not really. You need another drink? This is fine. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so glad Brenda finally met someone that's going to treat her well. As the face of deception, I hope she doesn't give away any company secrets. Hmm. I have a feeling that their relationship is more than business. Especially after going to LA together. Well, she better not be planning too many cross-country trips. I am her boss now. Well, Jax has his own plane. I mean, they could go to Paris just to have dinner and come back on the same night. I'm sure that makes her very happy. I call it reckless. Brenda obviously has a penchant for the wrong guys. Hmm. I've been thinking about Canada. Why don't we stop stalling 